Resolved. The death penalty will be abolished in the United States. At age 17, Christopher, Christopher Simons planned to commit capital murder. He was sentenced to death. Then, petitioner Donald P. Roper at Posty Correctional Center petitioned to have him taken off death. The Missouri Supreme Court ruled that Christopher Simons would no longer be put to death. The death penalty is unethical and cruel. It is unfairly applied to different ethnic groups and it costs too much money to perform. The death penalty costs too much money to perform. For a person to be in jail for life, it costs $740,000. For someone to be put to death, it costs $1.26 million to $3 million. For the drug alone, it costs $83. It used to cost $83. But because of a drug swap, it now costs $1,203. The death penalty is unethical and cruel. Prisoners on death row are excluded from everyday activities. They have no education. They have no employment, and their visits are restricted. They can spend up to 23 hours a day alone in their cell, only thinking about their inevitable death. According to the Universal Declarations of Human Rights under the United Nations, everyone has, everyone has the right to life, liber liberty, and security in person. The death penalty is unfairly applied to different ethnic groups. According to the latest U.S. Census, 12.3% of all Americans are African American, and 63% of Americans are Caucasian. Since 1976, 34.5% of people put to death were African American and 55.6% were Caucasian. This year, 21 African Americans were sentenced to death and 16 Caucasians were sentenced to death. Studies show that if you kill a white bird, if you kill a Caucasian person, you are more likely to be sentenced to death than if you kill an African American or Hispanic person, states the origins for alternatives to the death penalty.